James here, founder of Radio.co. In this video, we're going to look at live broadcasting and also how to set up user accounts for your radio station. The Radio.co platform has been built with stations that have multiple members of staff in mind. If you want to run a station with remote DJs from all over the world or have any other members of your team help out with things like creating and managing playlists, we've factored this in and created a permission-based system so you can set different levels of staff with restricted access. So we'll click on the users menu and you'll see you can invite users, but before we invite someone, if I click on the roles tab, I just want to firstly run you over the three different user level options and talk about what each role has been designed for. If you own the station, you'll be assigned a role as owner, which gives you control over every aspect of the station, and this role can't ever be removed from your account. Station managers have all the rights that you do as an owner, but they can't see billing information. However, they can pretty much do everything else, including broadcasting live, uploading and managing media, playlists, creating players, and also inviting other users as well. Be careful with this, as it gives users a lot of control over your station, so only really trusted members of the team should have manager rights. Music controllers can assist you with day-to-day -day things like uploading and managing media, but they can't invite other users or access detailed stats or analytics. The most basic level, a DJ, only gives access to broadcasting live and viewing real-time stats. And this role is designed to prevent DJs from controlling any other aspects of the station, such as managing music or scheduling. However, they can view the schedule as read-only just so they can see who's on and when. Let's head back to the Accounts tab and click Invite a User. You'll then be presented with a few options. The DJ name can be shown to listeners as part of your schedule. So this should reflect what you want to be seen. You'll then be prompted to enter an email address and this will also be the DJ's username that they can log into the system with. Just a couple of things to note. Once a user has been added to your station, they will receive an email asking them to confirm this with a confirmation link. They'll then be prompted to choose a password, which only they will ever know. Also, if a user is already on our platform, perhaps through another radio station, they will be able to choose between stations which they're administrating. As an account holder, you can have multiple stations attached to your profile. They could be stations you own or stations that you have access to as a DJ or a music controller. Now I want to show you how to broadcast live from your computer. So let's head to the scheduler and what I'll do is I'll create an event to start in 10 minutes time and I'll choose the user that I just created as a DJ. So now I've logged in as the DJ user I just created, so you can get a feel for what they will experience. As you can see, most of the options have disappeared from the side, as they don't have these permissions as part of the DJ-only user role. So you can be rest assured that staff who you don't want to be messing around with playlists or settings won't actually be able to. This broadcast live bar will always appear on a profile if an upcoming event is less than an hour away. It works in a similar way to a radio clock, or the beeps that you sometimes hear live on air counting down to the top of hour or to the news. This is so the live DJ knows exactly when to start broadcasting and always has a visual indicator of what is going on. We've designed the Radio.co live broadcasting bar to give this visual feedback so you can prevent the whole guessing in the dark thing that most online radio DJs have to do with other systems. You can always see the progress of time before and during your show and also your connection status. So if you ever get disconnected, you know about it. Now let's run over the different statuses. Currently, my show is due to start within the next hour. As you can see, the status button shows no DJ connected and is grey and the clock is counting down how long is remaining until it's show time. You'll see the clock starts to flash in the last few seconds before a live show is due to start. This is where you'll need to prepare to start your show. And once the clock hits zero, the status indicator will then turn red, which means you're on air and listeners will hear what you're broadcasting, so be careful. Notice the clock has also now turned red and is counting down again, and this shows how long is left on your scheduled live show. So you'll always have an indication of how long is left on your live show. If during a show a live DJ loses connection, this might be due to a poor internet connection or perhaps a computer or software crash, don't worry as Radio.co will kick back in with the automated playlist and your listeners will never know there's been an error. However, if this happens, the status will go grey again and a DJ can reconnect at any point during their live show and resume their live broadcast. When this happens, the button will return to red to signal that the DJ is live again and the listeners will hear a cut between the automated broadcast and the DJ's live show. 
The connection details for each DJ will be unique to them. And you'll note on the right-hand side of the bar, these are your unique details, so don't share these as they won't work for other people. These are standard internet radio server settings, e.g. a host, a port and a password, that will work on any Shoutcast-compatible software, such as Winamp, Sam Broadcaster, Nicecast, Radio Boss and many, many more. For a full list and tutorials on how to connect via most common pieces of internet radio software, check out the links below. Finally, in video 6, we'll look at stats, advanced settings including Twitter integration and how you can get your station listed on internet radio directories.